No, well, it is a Suzuki Liana. It's not a fast car. <laughs> this is the bit, though. You can scrub speed off here. If you lose speed here, you'll never get it back all the way up the main straight. This is, this is the home bit, this little, uh, this little bend here. This is where everyone goes off. How do you, how do you manage? You kept it on the island. And that was where Michael Gambon nearly rolled it. And you're across the line. Seemed a bit slow, I think. I've been told the time. Go on, man. You want to be faster than Jonathan Ross? Yeah. I pity Jonathan Ross if you aren't faster than I him. I will not let me... Vinny, J, one minute, 50... 51. Three! 53. So you're in there, faster than Ross can. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vinny Jones! This being a new series of Top Gear, we thought we'd try out a new presenter, OK? He's called James May, and on the evidence of what we're about to see, he is a blithering idiot. <laughs> One day, probably in the dentist, you'll find yourself leafing idly through the small ads in the back of a classic car magazine. And you'll probably think to yourself, huh, all that money I spent on a Ford Mondeo could have been used to buy something really interesting, like Mark II Inspector Moore style Jag, for example, an old Porsche 911. There are quite a few old Porsche 911s in here. Look, you could even have a Bentley. Mind you, you'd have to be a complete idiot to buy one of those. This one's mine. It's a T2, pretty much the cheapest Bentley money can buy. You can pick one of these up for seven or eight grand, but don't, because for that money, it's going to be a complete bag of bolts. This, though, is a good one. It cost 14 grand, but it's got a full service history. All the parts are genuine. There's no rust, no filler, and no evidence of bodged repairs. Now, 14 grand's top dollar for one of these, but that's still only the price of the most basic Mondeo. Unlike the Mondeo, though, the Bentley shouldn't depreciate. A Mondeo's a disposable item, but a Bentley's... it's a Bentley. So why do I like it, then? 